Today, I will recommend the mini OTDR OS to you all. And first, let's see the functions on the menu. You can see there are uh, four functions on the menu. First one, OTDR, then various VFL, then OPM, then nether source. The another one is setting. Yeah, for the for the OTDR, for this OTDR, there are three connectors on the top side. Uh, one is for VFL, the middle patch is for OPM. The right one is for OTDR and OLS. And next, let's see the functions of this OTDR. First one, let's see the OTDR. Um, first, insert the cable into the collector of OTDR. Then, um, press the screen or press F1. Yeah, because this this OTDR has two two styles. One is a touch screen, another one is without touch screen. Here, uh, this machine I catch is with is with touch screen, so I also can press the screen by the functions. Yeah, before testing OTDR, I lead I lead setting the parameters. Yeah, first one you can press F1 or press parameters function directly yeah here I press F1 here you can see you can set the parameters as you lead first one for the measurement mode you can select it as menu or auto here I select menu then wavelengths there are two wavelengths here here I I select 1550 yes Next one is the testing range. The testing range you, you are setting is, is lead double of the environment or your uh, environment lens. Here I set the environment as 30, as 30 kilometers. You can see the first section, the first section is 10 kilometers. The, the second section is 20 kilometers. So total is 30 kilometers. So here I set it as double is 60 kilometers. Then pro weights. Pro weights need to fit, need fit for the testing range you are setting. Here I set it as five US. Then average time and unit and and the next uh, diameters, uh, parameters you are setting. Then press F, F4 or press or touch the test on the screen directly to start testing. Here I press F4. And you can see, and the result is coming out soon. Yeah, here the result coming out and you can see there are two sections the the total length is the total length is 30 kilometers as we are setting the first section is 10 kilometers the second patch is 20 kilometers or is right as we are setting yeah let's see the next functions yeah press the exit to quit this function or you can press the ESC tab here on the screen. Yeah, here I press ESC. Yeah, next one, let's see the VFL. Yeah, I... Yeah. VFL connector is on the right patch. Insert, insert it. Then press VFL. Yeah, um, you can press F one to select the open CW or press or press the CW on the screen. Here I press F one. Yeah, you can see the light in the middle of my my hand. Yeah, it means the this is a night. And next one. Next, uh, next two functions is for the OPM and the o, OLS. Yeah, here you also can press the o, the middle 
button. Yeah, for the OPM section, you can see you can you also need to select the parameters as you need. Here are four wavelengths you can select it. Yeah, then play, then start testing. Today here I a lot in I lot show how to do how to test this function. And then press yes. Quit this function. The last one is for laser source. Yeah, laser source also is a very easy function. Yeah, press the middle button. Yeah, you can see it also have several function, uh, several parameters you can set before setting the wavelength, the wavelength and the hertz. Yeah, then press OK or press F1 or see that or touch the CW on the screen to start your testing. Yeah. Okay. That's all the that's. That's the, all the functions of this OTDR. Yeah, you also can press the setting to the setting the setting buttons to set the parameters as you like. Yeah, there are four buttons here: the regular ver version, time, and restore. Yeah, you can see you can press you can press the the relevant button to set the parameters as you like. Yeah, you can see. The next one is for files. This file, this, this patch, you can see the files, the testing files you are saving. Okay, press quit. That's all the, that's all of the, these functions of this OTDR.